<sighs> now this is what I call gardening. Sitting here, relaxing, feet up, comfortable chair, beside a lovely row of plants that are growing all by themselves. They're gardenias, they've got the most wonderful perfume. <sighs> but you know, for many, many years, people like me have been saying to people like you that you really got to work your guts out in the garden to get a reasonable result. It's not entirely true, and it's really not what sensible people want. Sensible people have kids and they want to go out to the beach or to the leagues club or whatever it might be, because they're normal and sensible. Gardenias, when you think about it, offer you a lot. In most areas of Australia, particularly Sydney, Perth and zones north, coastal areas where there's no frost, these are wonderful, wonderful plants. Perfume here pervades this entire garden, right through into the house. Open the front windows there, and you have this glorious perfume. Now this, in my view, is the best of all of the gardenias. This particular one is called Florida, or if you like, the florist's gardenia. Flowers abundantly, it doesn't need much. Most people tell you you've got to put Epsom salts on them if they go yellow. It's normally they just need a bit of nitrogen, a bit of chook poo or duck poo or whatever happens to be lying around the grow like stink. But there are so many more varieties these days that are very, very good. This one grows, as you can see, around about a metre tall by about a metre wide. But there are varieties that grow up to two metres or so. There's varieties like Magnifica, maybe Professor Pucci, so many other new ones. Many of them yet we really haven't assessed. There's one new one called True Love and some people are saying that may be the best one of the lot and that of course remains to be proven. What they say about it is that it's more resistant to scale and to things like mealybugs and so on. I don't know if that's true. It appears to be quite resistant in Queensland. Whether it is in other zones, I, I really don't know. But I suppose the bottom line is, to all of you gardeners out there that love doing this, sitting in a chair, having a quiet drink, smelling, well in this case, not smelling the roses, smelling the gardenias, go out and get some. Cheers.